And starting off with some breaking inputs coming in on Vion, the United States has designated terrorist Hafiz Saeed's political outfit, the Milli Muslim League, as a foreign terrorist organization. And also, several key leaders of the Milli Muslim League have been designated as foreign terrorists. The move is significant in the view of general elections in Pakistan in the coming months. The MML had announced it will participate in the elections. The U.S. decision has put Pakistani government in quandary as a local court had earlier ordered country's election commission to register MML as a political party. The U.S. also designated the Harik e azadi e kashmir in the list of foreign terrorist groups. The terror group is front of Hafiz Saeed's Lakshare Taiba, which is involved in terror campaign in Kashmir. And joining me live right now is a, a former intelligence officer, Glenn Carl from Boston, joining us live here on Weon. Glenn, the U.S. has designated the Milli Muslim League and its uh, officials as specially designated global terrorists. Now, what kind of intelligence did the U.S. have to take such an action? Uh, well, that's a good question. The Lashkari Taiba has been in the... Uh a concern for the United States and the CIA, uh, not only us, but uh, certainly the CIA for decades. Uh, back uh, before 9-11, we were concerned, as I recall. Uh, we had designated the uh, group from 2012, or 2002 to 2012, I think it was, and this is a return to uh, the to putting the group on the financial action uh, watch list. Uh, which is a good thing. Uh, it, it might pressure the Pakistanis a bit. And it's in line with uh, one of the few coherent uh, bits of foreign policy that the Trump administration has had, which is to uh, in progressively increase the pressure on Pakistan to, to finally take actions against the groups that it has supported for so long. Right. Uh, so what kind of action can we now expect from the U.S. on the Milli Muslim League and the tehreek e azadi e kashmir now? Well, I, th I think the big consequence is that it makes it harder for Pakistan to uh, finance some of its loans or to uh, to obtain them, uh, both the individuals designated and the uh, the country as a whole. Uh, uh, entities that deal with Lashkar-e Taiba and the uh, MML now will have uh, more difficulty paying their um, interest payments or obtaining. Uh, new loans, other countries and companies from other countries uh, that uh, have done business with uh, the uh, Lashkar-e Taiba and the MML will have to think about this more because that can create problems for them. Uh, the notable change or event in this uh, um, action is that China and Saudi Arabia uh, have uh, stopped uh, protecting uh, Pakistan on, in, on this issue which is, uh, has made the action possible. Glenn, uh, the United Nations has designated Hafiz Saeed as a terrorist, but Hafiz Saeed continues to roam free in Pakistan. How much of a role do you think uh, Pakistan is playing in Hafiz Saeed having a free hand, even to the extent of launching his own political party, the Milli Muslim League? Well, I, I think that uh, what it looks like is what it is, uh, meaning that uh, the government has uh, turned a blind eye uh, and uh, actually uh, supports the actions of um, LET and, and related organizations. Now, they can claim that a political movement is not a terrorist group. Uh, we hear this uh, with regard to many terrorist organizations and political groups in different countries around the world, uh, but the complicity is quite clear. Now, I think they, the Pakistanis do this because it helps them domestically uh, a bit, of course, uh, but uh, this will make it a little harder for them. Right. Uh, so, is Pakistan doing enough to stop terrorism-related activities on its soil? Uh, the FATF had uh, grey-listed Pakistan after several warnings. Uh, how much more pressure is needed for Pakistan to take some serious steps towards terrorism and eliminating terrorism? Right. Well, I think that's uh, a question that we all know the answer to, which is, of course, Pakistan has long played a, a double game of going after terrorist groups that uh, threaten Pakistan and uh, claiming not to be able to or to do so, and in fact not do so, 
against terrorist groups that uh, the Pakistanis themselves have either created or support uh, so that they can pressure India and, uh, and Afghanistan, the United States in Afghanistan. So, of course, they aren't doing enough. Uh, there is a struggle. Uh, Pakistan is not, in Pakistan, Pakistan is not a monolith. There are liberals and civil, civil authorities that would like to see this stopped. In the military, the intelligence services have for decades found that it is in Pakistan's interest. Uh, I think that they have, uh, as many do, they've created a Frankenstein that now threatens Pakistan itself. But uh, still, the uh, ISI believes that this gives a weaker country, Pakistan, leverage over a stronger one, uh, uh, India or the United States. Right. Uh, so enough, of course. Glenn, uh, we know that the uh, military in Pakistan is very powerful, maybe even more powerful than the politically the, the organizations, uh, the political organizations in Pakistan. Uh, so do you think the military in Pakistan is somewhat helping groom these terrorist organizations and helping them maybe, uh, maybe grooming them in the soil, helping them, giving them funding? What role do you think the military is playing in Pakistan? Well, certainly the ISI, the intelligence service, which is part of the military, uh, I don't think that they're doing that. It's quite clear. I, I think uh, uh, journalists from all around the world, and the CIA, and, and many other intelligence organizations, the uh, RAW, India, all of us have information uh, that the Pakistanis have um, worked with the Taliban and, and actually uh, protected and worked sometimes with Al-Qaeda and the LET and a number of other groups and uh, their hand uh, ISIs, therefore the Pakistani military, the Pakistani government's uh, involvement in uh, these groups and terrorist attacks against India and in Afghanistan is as clear as can possibly be. There's no question about it. Absolutely, Glenn. Thank you for joining us. That was a former intelligence officer, Glenn Carr, live from Boston, telling us all about the latest move by the United States, that the U.S. has put Hafiz Said's political party, the Milli Muslim League, on the global terrorist list and its own global terrorist and there's one more party it's called the uh, Tehreek e Azadi e Kashmir that is also apparently an alias of the LET and that has also been put on the global terrorist thank you so much Glenn for joining us with all those updates